بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم What are some guidelines for men wearing jewelry in the Shafi'i school? What are some guidelines for men wearing jewelry in the Shafi'i school? So what what there is agreement upon is that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wore one silver ring on the little finger of his right hand. There is some kalam about which finger exactly he had a ring on, but um, most of the scholars seem to to agree that it was on the small finger of the right hand. Based on this, there are various rulings about jewelry and rings and the like. And there's certain matters upon which there's a consensus. So, for example, there's a consensus that wearing gold and wearing silk for men is prohibited. As for other forms of jewelry, the Prophet ﷺ had the silver ring, yet our scholars had emphasized that men shouldn't have other forms of jewelry besides the silver ring. So if you want to adopt the sunnah of wearing a silver ring on the right hand, then bismillah. But beyond that, um, men should not wear... Um, men should not wear necklaces, armbands, um, or other forms of rings for that matter, or more than one ring, because this is regarded by many scholars in, in the Shafi'i school as resembling the habits of women, and it is unlawful for men to, to imitate women. So essentially what it comes down to is the only jewelry that the Shafi'i madhab considers absolutely legitimate for a man to wear is a silver ring on the right hand, um, and then, of course, there's some flexibility in terms of the finger, but most prefer the, the little finger of the right hand. How does this affect the wearing of a watch, for example, and perhaps certain other functional things? Um, there, we don't consider that as jewelry proper. A watch is uh, a, a device for, for telling the time, so that is fine, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah